Is Bitcoin ready to break 6,000? Have the bullish floodgates been opened? Or are we due for an epic dump deep down into the crypto abyss? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the savagery that we are seeing here over the past 24 hours. An absolute bullish celery stick of glory bringing Bitcoin up past the 5,000 level. Is this sustainable? Is what we're seeing right now the prelude to a run all the way up to the 6,000 region? Or, on the contrary, should we be a little bit cautious? Are there signs that we may see a dump, an epic dump, deep down into the crypto abyss? Ladies and gentlemen, as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right, so we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading as this market is extremely high risk and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Being said, ladies and gentlemen, give a dog a bone, he'll be foaming at the mouth. Tell your wife you went short and you'll be sleeping on the couch. Let's get this crypto. What a run here over the past 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen. We are still seeing that run right now with the most recent of moves here coming as a, a breakout of a one hour bull flag here uh, on the one hour time frame. Now, there are several things here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that we have working for us. One. Uh, we are finally getting some sort of consolidation in here. If you are subscribed, you would remember last night, uh, I was stating that we needed to see some, some co consolidation in here before I was going to be confident with levels that I could long or short off of. As we broke this range incredibly fast and incredibly vicious with no real consolidation points throughout, and if we do go back here in history as well, we can see that the only point of consolidation is this level right up here at about 5,500, which is a ways away from where we are at right now. Uh, for me, I am still evaluating the smaller time frames right now, the one hour, the 30 minutes, and the four hour time frames. For me on the four hour right now, uh, Bitcoin is looking nice. Some concerns for me is the RSI is extremely high at a 92. I mean, 70 begins overbought territory. We are at a 92 right now, which is significantly high. If we go over to the daily as well, we are currently at an 88, also very significantly high. Uh, but the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, is that we've broken this 4,200 resistance level, creating a higher high for the first time inside this bear market, the first time that we finally put in a high and sustained it. We've done it one time here, ladies and gentlemen, that was right here, and we immediately got rejected with a deep, deep dive down into the crypto abyss for an immediate 10 plus percent drop down. That was not what we wanted to see, and that was clearly bearish momentum at its finest. But right now, we do in fact have quite the opposite. We've seen a flush break of this resistance box, a flush new higher high stuck in for the first time inside this bear market. Literally, ladies and gentlemen, the first time inside the bear market, 15 months, ladies and gentlemen, 15 months of data. Oh, Kerbinaccio, stop hitting the desk every time you do it, Kirby, stop hitting the desk. I'll hit this desk once more, James. I'll hit this desk once more, Joe. We've been waiting for this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. We've been waiting 
for this type of action to re-enter the market. Because I don't know about you, but this range down here was grinding my gears just a little bit. The volatility was tight. We were not seeing much of the heinous moves that we grew so accustomed to inside this market. I know we all love these swings, ladies and gentlemen. I myself am a full-time swing trader. And as the volatility comes back inside this market, so does the opportunity. And I will continue to be trading this volatility like a savage. Shout out to my VIPs. I will keep you all updated with my trades. But let's get back to the immediate trend here for just a moment. The most recent move was this uh, bull flag breakout to the upside. Um, the problem for me, guys, is that the resistance here, if we go back to the one day, is looming just, just above where we are at now. We did get rejected at resistance the first time. Are we going to get rejected a second time? Are we going to find a pullback somewhere along this line? Uh, this is the daily time frame right now. Let's just draw a fib, okay, from the swing low. Actually, we'll go from here, this swing low here, all the way up to the current swing high. Uh, we would be looking, ladies and gentlemen, for an, a retracement anywhere at these levels, in my opinion. The most uh, respectable ones I like here is that the 0.5 lines up exactly with the top of this box. I mean, that would be great that the top of the resistance zone now gets retested and acts as support, consolidate, and then look to test up, which could be the fuel to the fire that we need to get to that 6K region. Now, as I was just stating, here on the one day and the four hour, the RSI is extremely toppy, ladies and gentlemen, but there are other there are the other things here. There's actually one hidden thing I, I wanna look at in a moment, but le let's cover one more bullish piece here before I get into the crazy, uh, potentially bearish indicator we need to look at right now. Uh, if we flip on our moving averages, we've also had a cross here on the one day of the 50 and the 100. Uh, I apologize if that's a little difficult to see. It is these this green and orange line they crossed right down here. Uh, we are trading above those two now. And for the first time now, we have started a new candle body with a close of yesterday above the 200 day moving average, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we are now trading above all three on the daily time frame. Definitely appears to be bullish. But here's the sneaky indicator, ladies and gentlemen, that is a, huh, it's a red flag for me here. This is the NVT. This is looking at on-chain transaction volume. Uh, it's, it's a little, it's a little bit deep to, to dive into the full metrics of this. You can look that up on your own time, what the NVT is, but generally this thing has been very good at calling tops and bottoms. Now I'm going to go over to the BLX here, the liquid index for Bitcoin and look at this metric, uh, because of the fact that they have so much more data. But just so you understand the BLX index updates once per day. And as you can see right here, if we go back, Bitcoin right now on the BLX is still only at 4147. It has not updated yet for today's uh, 4800 plus action, 4900 plus action. So this will update uh, shortly by the end of the day. And then this will also be red up here. Okay. So let's just imagine for the time being that this is showing red here because it will once it updates. All right. So as we can see here, ladies and gentlemen, Every time that this has turned red, we've seen a significant sell-off. Uh, we'll actually go back in history. We've seen it here as well. Significant dump, right? Continue to move over. Significant dump, significant dump. Uh, and this is where the data starts is right here, okay? And just on the contrary, every time that we've seen the green, we've seen a significant pump. This is measuring on-chain transaction volume uh, in correlation here with the price action. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean, even it turned green right down there before we had our pump. Uh, and right now I'm telling you that on the other charts, right now we are in a red, it flipped to red. I'll go back just to show you here on the Coinbase chart. We flipped red today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and all the past times that we've done this throughout Bitcoin's history without failure, one time since, uh, let's see when the BLX starts. I believe it starts in 2012. Let's see, uh, 2011. Every time since 2011, 
this metric has been 100% correct in calling the macro trend data. And as we can see here, we are going to be turning red today, but this can take some time to play out. As we can see, the last time that we flipped red, it occurred on July 18th, 2018, and the dump did not occur until November 2018. So that was months that we traded in this red zone here on the NVT. Just the same over here, we flipped red on November 2017, the end of November, uh, and the dump began truthfully in December. So that was a full month there. Uh, if we go back here, you guys can see it, it can last several months uh, before the sell-off begins. But uh, this metric is only to be looked at on the daily time frame. It does not really work on other time frames. It's daily only. So keep that in mind if you are using this as well. Uh, for me, guys, that this is a red flag for me. This is a red flag here as we are seeing that this metric has historically been very, very accurate uh, on the macro perspective for Bitcoin. And as we've turned red today for the first time in a very long time, I am putting some weight on this as it could be potentially, uh, you know, disastrous. But I believe that that doesn't need to occur right now. As I've just shown you, it generally occurs after some time. It's not generally an indicator that as soon as it turns, the dump occurs. It generally is more so indicative of a future dump. Uh, you know, within the next month or so of that happening. Also, I'd like to look here at the Google Trends data for Bitcoin. This is interest in Bitcoin uh, in search volume, etc. This right now, I have it set on the past seven days of worldwide volume. Uh, as we can see here, ladies and gentlemen, we began the week at a 24 in search volume and we went all the way up to peak last night at a, why won't this, there it is, uh, at a 100 relative to the rest. We peaked there last night, and right now, we still are at between a 78 and a 67 here, which is, I mean, great. I mean, that's literally three times where we started in relative volume uh, from yesterday's time. So interest is definitely coming back here in terms of search volume. If we actually do go back to the past 30 days, uh, we can see here as well, we started as at an 80 and we are at a 96 now. So there's been an uptick over the past month. Um, and as you guys know, I've been following this extensively here in the Google Trends data. Uh, we still, on a macro level, are trending downwards. But interestingly enough, even though it's April right now, we still have not gotten the official data here from Google Trends for March 2019. It still says the data is incomplete, so I'm still waiting for the monthly metric to come in for that. But uh, tentatively right now, it does appear on the smaller time frames, ladies and gentlemen, there is more search volume right now. Interesting. Also with the NVT, we have seen extreme blockchain action uh, in Bitcoin transactions here. So uh, the, the on-chain on transactions are heating up. We have search volume heating up. And, and obviously, and evidently, the, vol uh, the uh, trading has picked up here. The price action has picked up. But really, guys, uh, this range for me, I'm waiting for a pullback uh, to one of these Fibonacci levels here uh, to potentially get a better idea of what's going on. Like I said, uh, we've only painted a few candles in here on the four hour. Uh, I also like the one hour to watch right now. And as I've stated, uh, this was the first signal inside this range for me uh, was this flag here. But again, with the RSI being so, so overbought, with there not being really much consolidation anywhere else, uh, any various other factors here with the overwhelming resistance coming up on us, the NVT flipping, et cetera, et cetera, uh, I am cautiously bullish right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I believe that this trend does not have a reason to fail right now. Immediately, I believe that we are probably going to ping pong around in this range. Uh, many degenerates, Daniel the Degenerate, Moon Boy Montgomery, and the Hoddle Train homies will likely get, get crazy in here, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen it already. Oh, Kirby, get wrecked, get wrecked. You were short. You lost it all. Time to retire, Kirby. Get wrecked. You must be kidding me, James. Put out analysis for you seven days a week. In-depth analysis. And you give me this this kind of garbaggio, ladies and gentlemen? Sheesh. Sheesh. 
I was not short. I stated the other day that I had exited my short trades at 4,100 below this line because of a tentative whale pump. I did not want to be in a trade short when we were getting into this resistance box. I closed before that. Uh, I'm transparent with my trades, ladies and gentlemen. If I was short and got wrecked, I would have told you I was short and got wrecked. Uh, just, just trust me, ladies and gentlemen, stop caring, stop caring uh, about me getting wrecked and focus on, on profiting. Okay. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I'm focused on profiting. I'm keeping my VIPs updated with my trades in real time. Uh, if you are in my VIP, you would know that I did not get wrecked on this move. Uh, there was no reason to get wrecked. I mean, I saw we were coming up to a potentially bullish zone, uh, and I closed. I was not willing to stay in a position at a point where a, a whale bot could come in here and rip this through. So I closed, uh, and right now I'm awaiting my next entry. Do not be getting caught like a deer in the headlights, ladies and gentlemen. There is no reason to be getting wrecked inside this market. There is no reason to be getting caught like a deer in the headlights. I will keep you updated with my trades in absolute real time in VIP. It's time to step up to the big leagues. It's time to crush this market. It's time to get this crypto. If you've been average Joe, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I will see you in VIP, ladies and gentlemen. I will keep you updated with my trades in absolute real time to the absolute second. I see right now that we are in a in a potentially near 20% gap range here, a gap of about, if we go up to the top, over 22% to where I see the ultimate resistance could be. And if we just flush through this resistance, break through that ceiling, I don't see any reason that we couldn't test up to the 5,900 level, which is about 34% to the upside. And on the contrary, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I believe that regardless of what happens here, we're going to get a lot of ping pong action. That is why I'm keeping a very close eye on these Fibonacci levels, as to me, they are going to play a crucial role here uh, in determining the strength of the trend upon a pullback. And what's really great to me is that the 0.618 Fibonacci is that golden level, right? And that already, my friends, is inside the old resistance box, right? And per classical technical analysis theory, we would like to see old resistance become new support. So the fact that the 0.618 Fibonacci is now looming right inside that old resistance box if that level is tested and confirmed as support, ladies and gentlemen, grandma's cookies and a bottle of yo-ho-ho, -ho, that is in fact what Don Don, Don Don Carbonaccio would love to see. Old resistance becoming new support upon a retest. And that to me, my friends, would provide some of this ultimate ping pong action that I am looking for inside this macro range right now. Don't be getting caught like a deer in the headlights. There is no reason, ladies and gentlemen. There is a lot of trading opportunity looming here right now, in my opinion. I'm going to keep you all updated in VIP with my trades. I plan on crushing this market. I plan on getting this crypto. I will see you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up. Smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. I'm fired up. I see the potential right now is here. Are we going to break through this 5,000 level, consolidate, and look for a rip to 6,000? Are we going to get rejected here, flush down, and test a Fibonacci level for old resistance to turn to new support and ping pong for maximum swing trading opportunity? Or are we going to see that this NVT plays its role once again. Are we going to see the NVT play its role once again and flush us down, deep down into the crypto abyss? You must have a plan for every action, ladies and gentlemen. If it goes up, you need a plan to, to thrive and succeed. If it breaks down, you need a plan to thrive and succeed. Don Don Carbonaccio always has a plan. Don Don Carbonaccio is always ready to get this crypto, and I hope you are too as well, my friends. So being said, guys, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. Let me know what you think. I will be reading the comments here today. 
Uh, I'm sure many will tell me to get wrecked, Kirby, get wrecked. You're so bearish. Well, I've been bearish for 15 months in a bear market, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely 100% correct. As I was 100% bullish for two years in the bull market, and then I was bearish for 15 months of a bear market. You got me, ladies and gentlemen. You got me. <laughs> Degenerates, all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I will see you in VIP right now. I'm looking to get extremely aggressive here right now. Uh, if life-changing trading opportunity does arise, I will be striking upon it like a cobra out of the grass. Uh, I'm ready to get this crypto. Don't be getting caught like a deer in the headlights. Don't be getting wrecked. It's time to crush this market. It's time to get this crypto. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. I'm ready to crush this market. I will see you in VIP right now. And until next time, my friends, be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curves.